Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel and a new vlog. Uh, it's been a little while since I feel like I've vlogged anything, and yeah, so I just kind of felt like I should vlog today. Uh, there's not really a whole lot going on today, but a lot of real life organizing. I guess you could say, like, kickstarting your life again. Look what you're here, and we're gonna talk, and I'm gonna do things. So basically, I've just been a lazy bum. A lot of things have been happening. Uh, very emotional night last night, but that's another story. It, everything's okay now, though. And, well, my house is in, currently in a current wreck. Lauren is supposed to be coming over shortly. Uh, I don't know when, but she's supposed to be here at 11.30. Uh, probably just running a bit late. And we are going to record some podcast episodes because she's in town for a little, um, for a few days to visit her family and her cousins. So, we're gonna record some podcast episodes while she's here. Um, I need to clean the house, it needs vacuumed, I need to fold laundry, I have to train, I haven't trained in a couple days, it's really bad for my get back on track, which is still happening, just, it's been a bit busy. Uh, and I'm gonna make a grocery list right now because currently our food state is atrocious. Um, yeah, we have a lot of meat, but we have no fruit, no vegetables, like we have like apples here, but like, are really old and probably should be used for something and we have no bananas and yeah we're not in a very good fridge let me go show you my fridge like it's a lot of very random items so like come over here so this is the fridge like it's super random like we have so much like this is just, like spinach dip pasta sauce these are balls like lots of like condiment kind of things like salsa we have yogurt here a lot left over more pasta. It's a lot of pasta. But like what is really sad is these two drawers are basically like my drawers because they're all the fruits and vegetables. Look how sad that is. Like <laughs> this I'm pretty sure is expired. This needs to be like that's disgusting. That needs to throw it out. This is also I'm pretty sure bad. Um God knows how long half of this has been here. I think pasta back there that's also probably really ancient. So everybody's in a state of sadness. Like, what is that? It's so random. But like, yep, that's the current state of the fridge. It looks really full, but it's not. It's just things are crammed everywhere and there is an insane amount of pasta. Which still makes me sad though because I can't eat like a lot of the pasta because it's dairy in it. Like this is tortellini and it has it's like cheese tortellini, which makes me so sad because I loved tortellini. So like that's that uh the fridge. But then you go into like the freezer and it's just like a mess. It this needs cleaned out. Like this is essentially almost empty. Uh, can't get it open. But like we have a lot of meat. So we have like meatballs, chicken, ground beef. So I'm probably gonna defrost some of that. Look at that. Bread cupboard is like solid. Could reuse some reorganizing. This cupboard. I still have some peanut butter, so I'm all good in that section. I tried making this granola um yesterday, and like I mean, it smells really good, but like it's a bit burnt. <laughs> so that's still a work in progress. But this cupboard also needs reorganized. Um, protein powders are up there, but I ran out of my vanilla protein, which I like to use in a lot of like my smoothies and stuff like that, and other cooking like baking kind of stuff so i need to get some more of that but i need a vegan version because this one is whey and that does have dairy it doesn't completely like kill my stomach but if i'm going to be going off of dairy and being more like conscious of it i probably should find a good vegan brand of protein so if you guys have any recommendations for plant-based proteins let me know. But this is what makes me so the saddest is that there is no bananas like there's apples here but a lot of them are like can't really tell, but they're all like mushy. And then over here, the like, snack cupboard is kind of like just granola bars as of right now. Like this is our snack cupboard. So we have, I don't know why this is in here. That's not supposed to be there. But generally speaking, this is like the Asian food. This is pastas. This is like cereals and granola bars and stuff like that, which is really unorganized. And these are the granola, um, these cliff bars we are all obsessed with. I'm obsessed with the crunchy peanut butter and I love the chocolate chip one, but I can't eat that one anymore either. But like, we go through them so quickly. There's literally one bar left. 
Um, what else is in here? I can show you. This is just turning into like a cupboard tour. Look at all my cupboard and appliances and things like that. So that's basically what I plan on doing. And I need to shower. I literally just dumped my hair underneath the um, shower head because it was it was really nasty and I really don't have time to shower right now. Also, if I'm going to go to the gym later and get like all sweaty and stuff like that, there's no real point in like having a full body shower. But I really need to shower because I haven't showered in days and I'm really disgusting. So, we're going to clean. I'm going to put some music on. Because, and I'm going to, um, I'll show you actually the songs I'm going to play. Because I watched this movie yesterday and I was like on the verge of tears um and it was called about time it's on netflix that i saw it and i've been seeing it for a little while it has donald gleason and the girl i can't remember what the actress's name is but the girl from the notebook uh, it has her in it as well oh i got a message from lauren uh again i'm so sorry to get shown that i'm so big okay so lauren is running late so that's no worries we'll just more time to clean but okay so back to the movie so i watched this movie it's about time which is literally about um this guy who can like travel back in, t in time and he has to like go into like a dark place he's like clench his fist and then think about a specific time and he can only go back to places that he can remember so it's like about time travel and stuff like that and about how like you need to like appreciate the little things in life and like really that is like the key to happiness is just appreciating everything and just don't take life so seriously sometimes and just really live in the moment it was very beautiful and i was like oh my god i can't but the soundtrack i really like the soundtrack of the movie so that's what i'm gonna play right now but i actually have been putting a few spotify playlists together that kind of like mood playlist i guess i should say like reflecting what my moods are depending kind of what i'm feeling so like if you're interested in those i totally would love to share them and i would share them with you all and you can also see what kind of music i'm listening to if that's something you know you want to listen to Wait. broadcasting and now let's start making a list <laughs> Guess who's here? Oh, my dramatic entrance. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, aunt. Where are you going? There's so many ants in the Tim Hortons. It's so disgusting because there's like <laughs> fruit. <laughs> fruit juice right here. But Lauren is here. Now you can have this is crooked. <laughs> but Lauren is here and we're gonna record podcast episodes. And that's what we're gonna do. But we have to wait until <laughs> Lauren has a phone call coming at, um, at around one. So. Oh, she said one Eastern time. I think she meant Eastern Daylight Time, which is what we have. Alrighty, uh, we already recorded um, one podcast episode. I just forgot to tell it, so we're gonna record the second one now. I'm gonna put you here and insert another time lapse. This is like the ultimate time lapse vlog. <laughs> Let me straighten you out. Okay. Teacher slept. Oh, okay. <laughs> you like, I just, you ever can't find me? I'm, I'm praying. <laughs> it's like I'm praying for your God to stay I'm like, oh. Um, I used to like sleep like this. I would try to fall asleep like this because in Sunny with a Chance, Zora used to always like sleep in a sarcophagus. <laughs> I want to be like Zora. 
<laughs> in a sarcophagus. That's why I was so messed up when I was 11. <laughs> oh man, your role model's back. <laughs> Zora from Saving the Chance. Oh my god, that's funny. God, it's like those lizard things to get into that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about immortality. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> No! That's from my- I have an itch in my throat. <coughs> okay, well, let's roll. Let me itch it. It's like, you Not just scratch your throat here. No, you need to shut it down. It's like in your stomach, comes back, it's all like like corroded because it's like hydrochloric acid. So it's just all it's gone. like, oh, I have an, an itch down my esophagus. <laughs> Look your, at that! That's your pyloric sphincter. Let's itch it. <laughs> my epiglottis is a bit itchy. Let's itch it. What'd you drink ya? <laughs> Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My okay. parents is acting up. <laughs> okay, are we doing immortality or possessions? Just do immortality, I feel. <laughs> okay. I got some deep questions. Oh good. Okay, let's start this. It's recording. <laughs> Or like throughout the day, you go through you have weird thought processes sometimes. <laughs> and for me, when I'm tired and delusional, you've worked a long day, you're very emotional because you're so tired, and it's like 1 a.m. <laughs> you get some, you get deep life thoughts. And so I was watching. No bad stress. <laughs> okay, so that got me thinking. I'm like, man, I wonder what would happen if like any of us are immortal. <laughs> so that's my my deep question today in the point of this podcast. Is I want to talk about immortality. Like, oh, as a fate, um, as like things. Um, in return for saving my life, I'll grant you any favors. It's like, call me by this, like, weird phrasing, like, oh, fish, oh, fish, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so, like, the guy would, like, go and, like, call the fish because, like, his wife would be like, oh, I, I want, like, why didn't you ask him for, like, a big house? And, like, he kept asking for more and more. And then eventually, like, the water or something like that became, like, polluted and he wasn't able to, like, fish anymore because he just kept being greedy. So I wrote the, like, the whole story was that, like, okay, Lauren, are you ready? It's recording again. So, the camera cut off, so... Apologies, so if it just randomly stopped recording. But Lauren's gonna ask me, what, 36 questions? Yep. Is it supposed to mean... Okay, like, this is... There's, you might have heard of this. It's this thing where it's, like, scientifically, like, uh, generated questions where it was, like, questions that kind of encouraged if both parties, like both people answered the questions, uh, they're questions that, like, encourage, like, intimacy. <laughs> attraction and so most a lot of people who've done like these questions end up married <laughs> but i feel like this doesn't work in our case because we're related <laughs> but also you have to stare into each other's eyes for four minutes i don't want to do that so <laughs> wait, wait, wait. okay i want to set this up somewhere vrv okay ask away it's called the 36 questions that lead to love <laughs> okay, man. Be ready to cry. <laughs> okay. All right. This is this is set one. Okay. Given the cho- given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want to as a dinner guest? Anyone in the world? Yeah. Um. It has to be living. I'm assuming. But. Yeah. Well, I mean, dead people are still in the world, like their bodies are. <laughs> Corpses for dinner. <laughs> Bring out your dad! <laughs> bring out your dad! And the dad um, bring out the if bread! If I could have anyone in the world, um, it'd probably be either Emma Watson or James Corden. Because I feel like they'd be fun to have dinner with. Would you like to be famous in what way? I would love to, if, to be famous because of, if I become like a famous movie director, because that means my movies are really good. <laughs> uh... Before making a telephone call, do you ever heard? Why is this so bloody long? Before making a telephone that does not encourage a thing. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say? Yes, all the time, <laughs> because I'm nervous, okay. and I never end up saying the what I 
It what, hurts my head. Okay. What would constitute a perfect day for you? Like, what does that mean? Like, a, what would be a perfect day for you? Oh, um, hiking somewhere out in nature with my dog. Okay. And, like, spending time with my friends and family. When did you last sing to yourself? This morning. When did you last sing to someone else? Earlier today. Who were you singing to? I was singing to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? So live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or the same body? You have the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life. Oh, uh, I think I'd want the body because I already have a terrible mind in general, like memory wise, like <laughs> I might as well be a 90 year old. <laughs> Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? No. Name three things you and me appear to have in common. Three things. Three things, okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. A love of dogs. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, we're both related. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of, like, other yeah, things. Yeah, okay. okay, I feel like me and you have, like, um, similar, like, senses of humor in certain ways. Okay. Um, and, uh, oh, man, I, I, God, I'm so bad, I can't think of it's just like uh, they're both like books. There you go. <laughs> For what in your life do you feel most grateful? My dogs. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Mm, probably would have liked to have gone on more trips with my parents. So now I'm gonna set a timer. It says take four minutes and tell me your life story in as much detail as possible in four minutes. <laughs> okay. Do I have to start from like the very okay first from the very beginning? Life story. Okay, uh, so, so I was born on May seventeenth, around seven twenty in the morning. Uh, my brothers don't believe that I was actually born through my mother because they were not present for when I was born. Scan's like I was there for when Ethan was born, and we were all there for when Rona was born. So clearly, you were adopted because we weren't there because they were with Grandma and Grandpa. Um, <laughs> it was in the driveway. No, okay, so never mind. Well, to be continued. <laughs> this conversation isn't over. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Peace, 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 Peace out. Man, this is so sad. Yeah, say bye to Bo. I got some bite of Roscoe. Roscoe! <laughs> Man, this is so sad. We really do spend a lot of time together now that I didn't even leave out. Now like, dogs are always like nicer to me now. Because <laughs> I never seen Roscoe's just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, our conversation shall be continued. The unfinished, unknown answers. Hello. Now you're not gonna know the rest of my life story. I never know. I don't know who you are. <laughs> we're not. A, we're not. Into you're not gonna know the rest of my life story till later. <laughs> man, the fall's gonna be sad. I'll just come visit you. Oh, who cares about my come family? Visit me. <laughs> Uh, when, when you, your mom and Danielle come, we should all do the like, late at night. Let me tell you about my story. I'm, I'm gonna just t tell Danielle, cause she'll be like, what am I just- Can I leave? <laughs> what am I going to do? Safe travels. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, Lauren referred to each other as half breeds because she literally is my half breed, which means like she's my half cousin, so we're like half related but also half best friends. So it's really sad to see her go because she's going back up north and I'm not gonna be able to see her till like the 14th or 16th or 17th or whatever day she comes back home, which makes me sad because I work on weekends so I can't go up. But I should probably go clean up that stuff upstairs and continue cleaning the house. Yeah, back to our. Back to our daily regular schedule of cleaning, woo! So there's been a slight change of plans. I actually just listened to a song on my Spotify playlist and it gave me a really good idea for a little video. So I decided I'm gonna bring out my camera, um, a few props, and it's kind of cloudy right now, which in my opinion makes it really good for filming because, no, 
always say, you know. Um, it makes it really good for filming stuff because like you don't have like a really harsh sunlight. Well, especially for like the vibe I'm going for this kind of like rainy day kind of feel. So if it starts raining later, that'd make it even better. So yeah, we're gonna make a little uh, video right now and it will probably post it either as like a separate YouTube video or I'll put it up on my Instagram. Uh, probably be up on my Instagram. I don't know when, but it will be up at some point. So I'd go check it out there. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a bit of a behind the scenes kind of right now. And yeah, first though, we gotta get a few things set up. Okay, I'm gonna set you up here and you can watch me film things as I randomly picture them in my head. We're kinda like winging it. It's a winging B-roll kind of thing. BRB guys, the camera battery's gonna die. <laughs> Hello everybody and okay, I'm editing this vlog right now that you're watching and it's getting very long because originally I had filmed over the course of two days but I didn't realize how much footage I had filmed on the first day. So it's a, like, with it both together, it's like over 30 minutes long. So I'm like, Ugh, that's getting really long. So I've decided, I've made the executive decision that I'm going to split this vlog up into just like two separate vlogs. So I'm ending, I'm putting this clip in now and just to finish things up. So this, how this uh, vlog is ending is how the next one will start. Yes, if that makes sense. So, with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. It's kind of random and not a whole lot actually really happened. I just kind of like cleaned and then Laura and I recorded a podcast, which I've also finished editing and will also go up today at some point. And by the way, it's August 3rd. <laughs> Probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> so, not very eventful vlog, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really does help support my channel. And I will see you all in the next vlog, which will be going live in a few days. So, I'll see you next time. Bye!